Hey everyone, this is Akesa Living here, and I am just now getting around to having my coffee. And that's what we're going to talk about is full moon in Pisces and what's going on with that. The full moon in Pisces doesn't actually start until the 10th. And normally we feel the full moon a couple days before and a couple days after. I've been feeling this one for hmm, a few days already. And other people are highly empathic that I know they've been feeling it too since the weekend. I want to talk to you about why. And I want to talk to you about why we even need to know this stuff to begin with, because as you know, it's great to understand all this in the theoretical and just to understand the metaphysical and in all the super spiritual and all of that stuff. But if we're not able to apply it in the practical, kind of what's the point, right? I'm going to tell you how to apply it in the practical. So here's the deal with full moons anyway. Full moons are a time when we are more emotional, okay? And because we are more emotional. It is a watery time. The moon is full, okay? And things are being exposed. There's more light being shined on things, all right? Because we are more, ti are more tired and emotional at a full moon, we have our level of consciousness messed with, all right? We're not as sharp. We're tired. We're not keeping our energy field as guarded and intact. You know how it is when you're tired and you're not thinking as clearly. And so you will say and do things and you're like, oh man, you know, I made that mistake because I was tired. Your level of consciousness is not as sharp. You're not thinking as clearly. Okay. Now, I've been talking to you about how we are all raising in level of consciousness, but we're also not just in our physicality, but in our energetic body. And so we have the chakra system with all of the vortexes turning, which are ports of energy transference, where we are communicating more with our multidimensional self and with each other as multidimensional selves. And therefore, we are all feeling one another more. Now, it's easy enough <laughs> to get things crossways with one another when we're all cylinders are firing at best, okay? We, we're good enough at doing that when we're at our perfect level of consciousness and the emotions aren't flowing and you know, we can still mess things up then. When the full moon's going on, we can really do it, okay? Because, again, as I said, emotions are up. We don't sleep as well. We're tired. We have all of those things going on, all right? So the other thing happening is we're in a Mercury retrograde. So communication is being affected that way too. And everyone is going back and revisiting things that they've done before. So they're more emotional because of that. So all of that is coming in right now as well. And some are saying, well, Mercury retrograde hasn't even started yet. It doesn't start until the ninth. Well, we're in the shadow of it. And that shadow period seemed to have started earlier this time. Why is that? Hmm. Because we have all of these points of energy transference that we are becoming more and more sensitive to as we go up in vibrational frequency and become more consciously aware of our energetic bodies. So we need to be more and more aware of what's going on cosmically because that affects our energetic bodies. When we are aware of this stuff, then we can make adjustments in our daily lives. We can be consciously aware of what's going on and we can adjust what we're doing and we can be more understanding of what other people are doing and that can help us in our everyday lives in our practical lives practically it can help us practically so we're more compassionate toward one another i'm struggling with words right now a couple days ago i was like mm, maybe i'm going into a flare because this is, this is what happens to me when I'm getting foggy. Well, with this particular, this particular full moon, it is conjunct with Neptune. Neptune is foggy. Neptune brings in fog. Neptune is also in retrograde. So it's even worse this time. It started hitting me a few days ago. I've got it with Mercury retrograde, causing me to stumble with words. I've got Neptune in conjunct with a, a, a very watery, emotional full moon, which already has me 
tired and overwhelmed and more stuff coming in, yeah, it's messing with my speech pattern. Now, in the past, that would have been, I'm in fibro fog, I'm flaring, all of those things. All of those things were true. All of those things were true. And they were brought on by the fact that I am an energetic being that did not know how to control my energetic field. And therefore, it was coming in and affecting me physically in my physical body. I was exhausted. I couldn't. I couldn't think. I wasn't safe to drive. I was slow. I was sluggish. And I couldn't get my words out, which embarrassed the hell out of me. And there's no way I could do what I did because, because I wasn't safe to do it. And then all of that translated into how I felt about myself. And then all the 3D baggage of, well, you're not good enough and yada, yada, yada would come tumbling in. And that turned into physical pain, which I absolutely flat out reject now because the two have nothing to do with one another. And I refuse to be in physical pain over, over it. The two have nothing to do with one another. My energetic body being bombarded by cosmic changes have nothing to do with what other people have thought or said or whatever in the past. I'm at the level of consciousness where I know that. Now, some people, however, because it's a full moon and they're tired, it's easy to lower our level of consciousness. You know, the mistakes we'll make when we're tired. So it can be easy to let things in that you know not to let in. And so the pain will seep in or creep in. Or we will say or do things we wouldn't normally do. We would normally not talk about someone, but we get aggravated. And so we'll say, you know, he always does that. Da, 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 da. But what have I taught you about tarot world? In tarot world, that's what they call black magic. You just sent out dense energy waves, low vibrational energy into the universe about someone. You just sent low vibrational energy towards someone who's trying to manifest a high vibrational life. Tarot world identifies that as someone's doing black magic against you. No. But if you let that in your energetic field, it will lower your vibration. It will be a blockage or restriction in your life. So if you go around those people and you hear them saying it, or if you remember it and you let it in, are you getting the, are you getting the correlation now? We're tired and we're emotional because we have a Pisces full moon. It's an emotional moon. We get tired anyway at the full moon because we are feeling more that is coming in. It is Neptune in conjunct, so we're foggy from it anyway. And it's in retrograde, so we're going back and looking over everything and foggier. And then we've got Mercury retrograde going. So we're revisiting everything from the past and we're having trouble with communication anyway. It's like a storm. And that's the card I got this morning. Storm warning. So all of these things clear our minds. Do some breathing. I uh, know. I was one of the world's worst folks at saying, I'm breathing already. Why do they keep telling me to take a deep breath? I'm freaking breathing already. <laughs> I'm telling you folks, it aggravated the freaking daylights out of me. But there is a difference when we will stop and do deep breathing, especially if you're counting the breaths. You can't think about anything else and it will slow the parasympathetic nervous system down and it will calm you down and it will bring you back to center. It'll call your energy back to yourself from all those places that it's just gotten fragmented to and it will be here. So you can focus it, pull it back into the frequency you want to be in. It'll clear all that dropped level of consciousness you had. And you can be like, okay, who do I want to be? What do I want to feel? 
What do I want to experience? How do I want to be treated? Oh yeah, this is it. I'm feeling my frequency now. And you can get back into frequency and then you can go forward on your timeline as you. Obsidian, to cut cords. Don't go, this, this, this Mercury retrograde. Use Mercury retrograde to revisit things and, oh yeah, I learned from that. Or, hmm, what are something I'm doing that maybe I want to improve upon? You choose. Look at it as, I'm choosing to do this. Don't get swept up in it, not understand what's going on and get all frustrated. And why am I thinking about that? And No, you choose. Make conscious choices about it. Use this energy to make conscious choices about things that this was in my past. I'm feeling it. Hmm. What conscious choices do I want to make now? How do I want to pull that energy to me? Cut the cords on the old stuff. Get rid of the 3D thought patterns. And how do I want to raise that energy up and go forward with it? Obsidian. That's the crystal that helps with that. Stay grounded. Stay grounded. Whenever we feel ourselves getting all out of sorts, when we feel ourselves tired and overwhelmed emotionally, get out in nature. Call yourself back to yourself. Do some deep breathing and stay grounded. Keep your energies from all up in the air. Pull them down. Because when they're all up in the air, well, that's when we're more open. Okay, so ground yourself. Be very grounded right now. And we're also, when we're grounded, we tend to be, that's when we're more solitude, in more solitude. Even if it's when we're in a crowd, when we're grounded, we are more within. And our energy field is not as open. Being grounded means you have taken something and you have, you have brought your energy in. And you have made it such a part of you. You've pulled it down into Mother Earth. You have that place, that memory, that energetic memory stored that you can reach back down into the energetic field of the planet and you can pull that energy back up. We say, Mother Earth, I want to pull clear, pure energy back up. The planet stores that energy for us. We, we envision these things. Okay, this is how I want to feel. Ground that energy. And then when we need it back, pull ourselves to center. Okay, I want to pull pure, clear energy back up. Tap into what we have already grounded. Pull our frequency back up. So stay grounded. And listen to your heart. Stay in tune with your frequency. Let your intuitive mind, the heart chakra, keep you in your frequency. Okay? So, yes, we have a full moon going on right now. Be careful what you're saying out loud because you are putting energy frequencies out that can impact other people's energetic fields. And therefore, Tarot World, World's going to turn over a card and they're going to say somebody's working black magic against you. And it's because you're aggravated with someone and you've said something kind of ugly about them that was dense. So let's not do that. And we're all prone to doing it. So pot calling kettle black. I get aggravated too, folks. And I'll say, you know, that happens all the time. Every time I go there, they da 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 da. And that and I just spoke black magic against that that little guy behind the counter. And I don't even know his name. And I just did it. And his little tarot reader is like, oh, somebody just spoke black magic against you. So pull that energy back. Don't do those things. And yes, there are people closer to us that we actually hear them do it. Most likely that doesn't really affect him. Not too terribly much anyway, because his energetic field really isn't open to those sound waves that are reverberating out for me. But if it's somebody that's close to you, and you're letting them in your energetic field. You hear it and it affects you. And then you get to ruminating about it. Your energy drops. Your vibrational frequency drops. It pulls you out of frequency. And you drop into 3D thinking patterns out of your 5D. Okay. So. So that's why we don't want to do that to one another. We don't want to get 
snippy with one another, catty with one another. We don't want to do that. We don't want to, I used to hate hearing this. We don't want to speak that against one another. Well, it's true. That's what we do to each other because we pull each other out of frequency. So that's another reason to kind of stay off to yourself during this time. Unless you can use these energies, unless you can use this emotional energy to pull yourself up emotionally. And then it might be a good time to snuggle up with your favorite snuggle buddy because the emotions are pouring. And this is a good full moon for realizing your most wonderful dreams. That's the positive thing about this full moon. All of these things I've been talking about, we can make the conscious choice to say, you know, I am feeling all of that. I am a little tired, but I can go take a nap. I can handle being tired. I can take care of that. I can rest my physical body up and I can get away from all those energies that drain me. I can hold my frequency and I can find that thing that lights me up the most. My work that I love. My friend, my one or two friends that really light me up, that all that draining one another thing's not going to happen. Or my person that lights me up. And I can spend time with them. And we can work on our dreams that we have together and we can manifest so we can use these energies to take things that are really our heart's desires things we're really wanting to do and we can really accomplish a lot toward the things we want to do with these energies and come out of perfectionist mode you have to watch for that because when we're emotional we get in perfectionist mode oh it's got to be just exactly this way no it doesn't have to be if it's work it doesn't have to be perfect just keep rolling with the emotion. Let that creativity come in and create. If it's friendships, no, you don't have to have, the house doesn't have to be perfectly clean to have them over. It doesn't have to be the biggest soiree ever held and everybody doesn't have to have the perfect costume to come. No, no, no. You can just call each other up and order pizza and get together and have a heck of a time. If it's spending time with your, with the person who lights you up more than anyone in the world yeah it's great if you plan something special and all of that but if you didn't have time to that's okay because it's going to be special just taking advantage of these energies and spending time together and not letting everyone else's energies come in riding this wave of beautiful beautiful pisces in motion so when we understand what energies are going on around us, what energies are coming in impacting us, we can take and we can use them for the practical. We can keep from putting energy out that we certainly don't want people putting out to us. We can keep from acting a way we don't want other people to act toward us. Because if we do, we're going to attract it back in. Okay. Whatever energy you put out, you will attract back toward you. And you may... Put it out looking like an apple and it may come back expressed to you like an orange in the physical. But in the energy, in the energetic, it is going to be energy for energy, dense. Dense energy goes out at a certain frequency. It may be expressed back to you in the physical as apples and oranges, but it's dense energy that you put out coming back to you. You may have lied about so and so. And it may come back to you as somebody else steals from you. Dense energy that is equal. Apples and oranges in the physical, but it's dense energy that you put out that came back to you. So let's all remember that. And let's use these, these energies with this full moon time. Let's get plenty of rest. Plenty of rest. Keep our energy field intact. Keep our vibrational frequency what it needs to be. Let's use this energy to create, to do our heart's desires, to be with our heart's desires, to be with those that our intuitive mind is saying, yep, that, that job is for you. This project is for you. And to get all of this energy that is coming down, because it's not all just emotion that's coming down. Energy in motion is, is it's the frequency of ideas too. It's the frequency of information. It's yes, yes, I'm getting tons of information is what I'm getting and I'm loving it, but it's also tiring too because I'm having to process all of it. I'm having to integrate it. And that's part of what's so tiring about a full moon too is 
those of us who are open so many points of energy transference that we're in contact with we're getting tons it, energy in motion is not just the emotions the way we think of it energy in motion is also information that is coming down i'm getting tons and tons of information which i'm relaying to you all and keeping notes of, of for the next book and all of this kind of stuff but i have to integrate that I have to process it, and that is tiring. So there's all sorts of reasons why we need to understand what happens cosmically when we have a full moon. And we need to adjust what we do when we have a full moon so that we are keeping ourselves in the best place possible. And so the energy we're putting out is truly the frequency we want to. And then that way, we're making the lives of those around us easier for them to be in their frequency. And we're also serving as models for them to see, hmm, there's something to this stuff they're saying. They handle all of this better than I do. And I've been watching this moon stuff that they're talking about, and I do feel different during the moons. And then we're raising their level of consciousness about it. And so they're becoming more aware. Yeah, that's really what's happening on the planet, folks. All of us doing this, every time you do a little more, you're helping yourself and you're helping everyone around you. And that's how we're all going to live in great big capital letters, whatever phase the moon's in. The next phase, there's going to be something for me to teach you about that too. There's always going to be something new to learn because energy is always moving. Have a great day, you all.